I promise some surprises in the extended forecast. Your forecast focus for tonight. We're looking out November 21st through the 27th. This throw the center's from the Centers for Climate uh, Prediction. Those are our government climatologists. And uh, this is, should not be a surprise at all, especially during a La Nina winter, above average precipitation during that time period. And typically, I would think that would come in tandem with below average precipitation during a uh, early uh, La Nina scenario. However, uh, very, very strong signal of above average temperatures during that time period. And boy, if we are even a little bit above average during this particular uh, time of year, that takes our snow level right up above the valley. So would make me think that uh, holiday traveling for Thanksgiving and the days after is going to be a snap. My concern is that might take that snow level up above our mountain areas and the resorts. Stay tuned for that. It's awfully dark red. <laughs> which makes me I think we may be in for something of a uh, pineapple express type weather pattern but in the short term it is mountain snow and valley rain in our forecast although right now we are clear and 39 degrees in Spokane we're very close to the dew point but as those winds continue to pick up fog is not going to be an issue at all in fact we're not going to see that temperature drop much from the current reading maybe three or four degrees 39 right now in Coeur d'Alene skies are clear that is definitely not the trend heading into the overnight as the next system is already making it to the cascades that will bring an increase in clouds some rain coming overnight and then will dry out again the next system due in on Wednesday with more valley rain and mountain snow and breezy conditions here's a look at our satellite and radar nationally fairly quiet a little bit of snow in northern New England this morning and uh, the big news is of course the heavy winds which you heard about from Aaron Luna on the west side of the state and the power outages there here's a look at our high temperatures across the nation today 40s for Minot <laughs> Minneapolis Chicago Pittsburgh it was 50 today in New York City 55 in Seattle and 56 in Portland 88 today in Phoenix here is your seven-day forecast dry tomorrow and breezy the strongest winds actually coming overnight tonight with gusts to 40 miles per hour, 25 mile per hour gusts tomorrow. Then wet and breezy on Wednesday. I have the alert level at three because of that rain. You might need to plan around. Temperatures right about average, if not a little bit above through the seven day forecast. Um, but then, like I said, looks like we may be a little bit warmer heading into Thanksgiving wow. week. Um, how much warmer? We'll have to see. Yeah, but it'll help with the traveling that goes along Absolutely. with the holidays. So that's always good. We've been talking about ski resorts opening. You were skiing this past weekend. Uh, yes, I went up, <laughs> had to go check it out. Yeah. Now back, there's my little ski racer, oh. Sophie, getting her first turns of the Look season at, at Lookout Pass. Isn't that a beautiful view?